Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So the closet is officially done. Like, officially. I may add in a rug or something. I have a chair coming. But this is what I wanted the closet to look like, given the space that I have, and having this carpet, guys, because I was not going to rip it up. But I decided to add in three more IKEA pack systems behind me. And I replaced my shoe wall move them over here with these three pieces. So my shoes are still here on the right hand side, but behind me, as you can see, I do have a three additional Ikea pack system. What I wanna tell you is that these three pieces are different from the original ones. Ikea has the Ikea 2.0 new pack system. Some people don't like it, a lot love it. It's very easy to put together. When I mean easy, I mean like maybe 10 minutes a piece. Um, there are no real screws in there. It's like plastic pieces, which is a little alarming, but I think it's still sturdy. The only thing that I do not like is that the ones made in the US, they actually have a bar that you put on the back. The ones in the UK, they don't have that same bar, so they both have to be bolted to the wall. But I think the one in the UK has the old clamps, while the one in the US actually has a cutout for you to actually add in this long, like, metal bracket. I did not bolt mine to the wall. And my reasoning is they're so deep that they're impossible to tilt over unless there's, like, maybe an earthquake or something like that. But they're not going to tilt over. I don't even have the original ones. Um, bolted to the wall and then I don't have any children in here so think about that but I recommend <laughs> putting it to your wall all right so let's get into the three pieces behind me now I added in two 19 pieces and a 29 inch piece to my surprise the 29 inch is not small at all but I still was able to get all of my blazers in here and then at the bottom I do have some boots I'll pan over and show you guys that I have a really tall pair of Jimmy Choo boots that are super high <laughs> and I really wanted to make sure that I could just sit them here. So I didn't put a shelf down here, I just actually added the boots and just sat them there. Um, since they're deep enough, you could actually put boots in the back of it. I could probably get like a pullout shelf in there um, and then add it, you know, put it there. But as of now, they're just sitting there. The other thing is Ikea is I don't know they were out of certain things and I kind of feel like they're gonna be discontinued soon so if you are looking to get any of the Ikea packs pieces like drawer pullouts and stuff try to get them now because something going on in my opinion so over here I decided to just put some shelves here I still got the glass shelves I love the glass and I put a light at the top and a light here I didn't put any more I thought this was good enough I was gonna put a light on each shelf but they didn't have enough for this size. So I just put it in two different places, which I still think is pretty cool. You could still see through it because it's glass. Had I gotten the other shelves, it wouldn't have looked like this. And I wanted to display like my sweaters and stuff, some shoes because red is my color, and some more sweaters and kind of kept it really simple. This is probably gonna change over time. The more things I buy, the more things I wanna display. But as of now, I'm gonna leave it like that. And I have my Ruslan Baginski hats at the top. I have three of them here. And then I have over here my leather jackets that are mid-length, mid-waist length. And then at the bottom, I did end up putting my skirts. That's what I did. Now on the other side, I did move some things around. So I'm gonna show you guys that. I'm gonna move the camera around. Um, and I'm able to just like really see all of my stuff even more so than before, guys. So let's get you over here so you guys can see all the things that I got in my closet. All right, so we're on the other side of the closet. I already had these before, but what I did was I did move some stuff around and added some lights. Okay, so usually your pants, <laughs> your pants, pull is usually at the bottom but for some reason me adding it to the top was I don't know I just felt like it gave me a little bit more wiggle room for my shirts at the bottom I'll pan over I also have a pullout drawer at the bottom as well it still fits especially with this here so that's perfect I can still put some shoes there and I'm still able to add shirts and the shirts not really hit the bottom 
So I think by adding my pants and stuff here, it actually gave me a little bit of leeway to add shirts at the bottom. Like I said, typically you would add your pants at the bottom, but I wanted to add them to the top. All right, so this section here, I kept my jackets. Well, long coats, long coats and long jackets. Some of them are kind of thin. So I wanted to display those here because they were hidden in the closet. And to be quite honest, I kept forgetting that I had some of them. I kept forgetting that I had some of them. So I wanted to display them here. Some of the dust bags I kept here because they do have some of my dresses in it that I just don't want hanging out. Um, and I have space at the bottom to put some shoes. Now this area, I had this before. The only difference here now is some of the stuff, some of the stuff changed, but this is gonna change as well. But I put two lights here. In this case, I put the light at the top and at the first shelf. My reason to, of doing that is in case I need to add more hanging space, I could always take off these two shelves here and put another rod if I really needed to. Um, down here at the bottom, girls, this is the star. I ended up adding a light over my glasses case. And when I tell you, it looks so beautiful, like so beautiful. If you are thinking about getting lights in your Ikea packs, definitely put one over your pullout drawers where your jewelry and glasses are. Whatever you have on top, you can put two, but I don't think you need to. Just put the one closest to the shelf so you can display what's inside. Um, again, two different lights here and I kept it really simple. The drawers and everything are the same. The only thing I had to do was adjust the height because of the light. But all in all, I still have the same exact number of drawers here. And just I cleaned it up a little bit, but still not perfect, but it will be. <laughs> and the last section, let's move you guys over here. This is gonna be my long hanging clothes. So I actually have shirts here as well, but some of these shirts are just super long. They cannot fit in that area. Um, and then I left some of my longer dresses on this side um, that are not long enough for that, but long enough for this, if that makes sense. I did put two lights here and I have a drawer at the bottom and a pullout shelf. So I do have like a pair of shoes on it, a bag, just a little storage space that I can use. When I did hang this stuff up, I did do shortest to longest. So in the front, I'm able to actually put a bag and some shoes and stuff where it's not covered by the clothes. I do have a mirror in here. So it's the Ikea, what's this mirror called? The Hovit? Yes, the Hovit mirror. Um, and I still have my regular desk in here. But I did wanna show you guys everything that I changed in the closet, especially the new pieces behind me. I absolutely love it, guys. If you, like I said, if you're looking to update your closet, definitely check it out. You can put those together by yourself. If you wanna bolt them to the wall, you may need some help, like finding a stud and stuff. But most of the girlies now know how to do all this, all these things. But for me, I did not bolt it to the wall. It was just too much hassle. The lights were super easy to put together. I was going to pay someone, but then I decided, let me try it myself. And to my surprise, it was a very easy. Um, it went up easy. All the wires and stuff is at the top. I probably can just move them out, out the way now. Um, I do have this. They, I bought the remotes for it, which is this, I don't know if you guys can see that. Each one can carry up, can hold up to 10 lights. So if I turn it off, actually, yeah, turn it off, <laughs> turn it back on. Um, it dims very, very easy. I'm gonna put them to the wall and when I come in, I'm able to press it. Uh, and these were like eight bucks. And the other thing is, I showed you guys this in the last video, I did put a wireless speaker in here just to have when I'm getting dressed and just have a little bit of fun in here. But that is it guys, a very quick update to the closet. Again, if you're looking to add in new Ikea pieces, they're not the same like before. It's literally like an accordion, you open it up. That's probably the hardest part because you have to build it standing up, but when you open it up, it's like quick, okay? Um, and the shoes is here, like I said. You guys already sh saw the shoe wall. I don't think I need to show you again. <laughs> but I think it looks really, really good. I turned the lights down a bit. Let me turn them up so you can see how bright they are. Let me see. Yeah. So I have them at like full high now. <laughs> 
what I which I absolutely love. Okay, guys. So that is it for this video. A very quick video on the closet. I need to make sure that when I'm editing this video, it is not too bright because this is my second time recording it. Because to my surprise, the lights in the back may not seem super bright, but on camera, it does. <laughs> make sure you are subscribing to the channel, guys. It is your girl Coco. Follow me on Instagram. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco. We see you. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my personal style blog, CocoStylesNYC.com, and my style services, CocoStylesNY.com. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.